Can you hear the dogs barking? I'm gonna keep talking. So lovelies, it's Natalia. Hello. Happy February. And coming to you with lots of feelings. Perhaps this will help someone or inspire somebody out there. For someday, I'm gonna look back on this and go, oh, I'm so glad I made that. It's still helping me. So, some light has been shed on something that I've been really frustrated about. I've realized a lot within the last month how distracted I can get, how distracted I can become and how I can spiral and just trip out on a thought and go someplace so far away from the real me and how often I can do that by habit, you know? I know where it comes from. I grew up in a lot of chaos after a certain age in my life. And I was just so used to, even though in my retreat of ways and hermit ways and times on my own, I would still have this alert antenna on picking up on what's going on around me, whether it was upstairs, the next room, around me. I was walking on eggshells a lot as a kid. I'm very perceptive because of that. Oh, I turned it into something golden, you know, that old habit of walking on eggshells. I turned it into being very perceptive. And yes, I'm very sensitive. Oh, I keep talking about that too. But it's, it's good to express that. As an empathic being with qualities like that, um, it, it was a lot, it was overwhelming. And so it's this habit. And I've also realized that when I healed from ulcerative colitis, I really had to unwind my brain, the movie reels out of my head, from backwards to forwards to really understand what I went through so I could undo it and heal as best as I could. So I'm very used to being active in my being, my mind, my thoughts, my emotional state, my feelings, spiritually. And I'm very used to be being busy inside. I realized lately, oh my God, I have so many memories. When you start picking up years as a human and have life experiences, oh my God, they can build up. Some you forget, some you keep, and some can pop up out of nowhere, and some can be like flashbacks, some can be like PTSD, some can be amazing memories, and some can just trigger the most erroneous anger that needs to be loved and healed and dealt with, you know? Please be gentle with yourself, and I'm reminding myself as I say that, because I'm so hard on myself. Oh, so I can have so many memories from my past and my past experiences without trying. I can have present day experiences and, and just naturally just think about them, process them. I can have these flashbacks and PTSD and all these other things come up and stuff comes up to heal. It's busy in here. <laughs> it's busy in here. It's busy in my spirit. And so I've realized, oh God, I'm so used to this. So I got to take my attention off of that because sometimes it can reel and spiral into, like I said, something that's not me. I start thinking about these things. I start, if I get to the point beyond a process and start stressing out and holding on to it and being angry and seething, it's distracting me. I could put that energy into a video. I could put it into a play or art or a drawing, a song. I could sing it out. I could go for a walk. I'm not perfect. You know, I don't always do those things. Sometimes I just blow off the steam and cuss and swear. Um, sometimes I let it get to me. The thing is, is that I'm realizing right now it's not serving me and I have to stop. And I realize that's the next chapter on my journey. Taking that distractive focus away from all of those things outside of me that really have nothing to do with me. And really pulling that focus onto my nurturing myself. Because I'm really tired of going at society's pace, or the pace that is just accepted as human standard. You know, people want you to, like, rush or answer them a certain way. People want you to answer their overtly nosy questions. And it's like, 
The part of me that's distracted by all of that really wants to sit inside the seat of my soul where I get my inner compass, meaning the answers within. When I'm focused, not distracted. When I'm calm, not afraid. <laughs> and, 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 and function from that place, because I've been on automatic a lot. Stress, my mom dying, um, over a decade and a half, even two decades of just non-stop, 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 wow, intensity. And this is my time in life for recuperating and resting. So, uh, yeah, I feel like life is asking me to relax, slow down, go at my own pace. I want to go at my own pace. And yes, there's that city girl in me that wants to go faster. And I'll have those moments. It's just, oh my god, my natural pace is what I really feel like. I'm tired of forcing things, pushing, rushing. Um, I'm tired of getting thrown off by what people say, what people do. And yes, I know it's part of being human. It's just I would like to handle it differently because I've had times in my life where I focused so precisely. Like, that's what I had to do to heal from ulcerative colitis. I had to focus so precisely and have not any distractions or very little distractions and have a very solid mind to see to the heart of the matter and, and help myself. Oh, I feel like I'm going to pull that card out and recultivate it for the present day in my life because these distractions are not serving me. And, oh, God. I'm just over toxic relationships and, and relationships that aren't mutual and I've come to realize that when people, you know, you can tell when someone cares and, and, you know, people who can't participate in relationships or friendships, like, they're either busy or they're disconnected, whether it's disconnected from themselves or disconnected from intimacy or disconnected from life or disconnected from understanding how to connect or communicate it's just uh relationships like that I'm stepping away from I really love mutual appreciation mutual love mutual values and I understand when people are busy but it's just you know when someone just is an absentee friend so yeah it's like I'm in between Natalia's and it feels awkward and it feels funny and I'm also really comforted that I have some answers and solutions for this you know um, yeah speaking replying expressing myself on my own terms rather than what other people expect of me because trust me I can feel that you ever feel without a person having to say anything can you ever feel a person kind of like hovering over your shoulder energetically wanting you to be a certain way expect you to answer a certain way or if you worry yourself you think that it would just probably blow them apart to bits and freak them out because the real you is so different from them and I've had so many times in my life where I edited myself because of that and I just I can't do that anymore and that's the thing I feel like I'm in a corner and the ways that I've handled things and the ways that I've processed things and thought about things I just can't do it like that anymore and so it's going to be this interesting unique chapter of growing for me to take my focus and put it in the places that need my love and attention very personally me and the things that I appreciate and love and want to nurture in my life so yeah I'm, I'm fed up with the themes of my past repeating themselves and for that I need to make some changes oh, I, I'm just so fed up with the protocols I know that we live in this world and there's societal ways and pressures but I'm just, have you ever gotten to a point where you're so tired that you just can't do it anymore? I feel like that. And I just would like to live as the Natalia that I feel in my soul instead of the awkward, societal, jerking, habitual, patterned ways that don't serve me where I feel not like myself and it hurts when, when I do those things. And that definitely just comes from society pressure and it feels good to come to the terms in my life in a place where I'm realizing I don't want to be like that and there's another way that I can be and that's going to take some effort from the inside out. You know, I, I'm not what the majority of this world expects or wishes or wants. So, yeah, there's always those amazing revels that carve their path and find 
their own distinct voice, you know, like, they always stand out, they're always seen as odd or unique or weird or crazy or mad or genius, and my loves, that's how I'm feeling, so I feel like it's time to carve out my own path. I'm not claiming perfection. I'm not claiming that I have it all together, but I'm definitely saying that it's time for me to make some changes, and I've been feeling very uncomfortable and very awkward, and I just, certain things I just can't do anymore. It's just too much. You know, I'd like to tap into the more ancient part of me, the more innocent, wise, childlike part of me. And I'm sure you've seen that already in my videos. It's just, there's always more to delve into and enjoy. I'd like to put my focus elsewhere. So, yeah. I'd like to focus on my gifts and giving my love to places of pain instead of shunning them and thinking that I've done something wrong. I'd like to give myself the on my side yes that Natalia all those things you thought you couldn't do you can do them all those things you thought you couldn't express or say you can say them all those little pressures from society that said you couldn't do it or you're not allowed to go for it girl you've been given this expression and this voice for a reason so I feel like I'm outgrowing a uncomfortable tight old shoe hmm. thought I'd share that with you my loves I hope this helps you